this video, I'm going to talk to you about some different ideas for creating a surface collage to decorate your sculptural identity letter. First, consider using text. You can circle words or phrases in old book pages or pieces of magazines. You can create blackout poetry this way that has a lot of impact and visual appeal. You also can find words or phrases that are already printed in magazines or book pages or piece together letters to spell your own words. Next, consider finding images. Just remember, for your collage, it's the arrangement of the images that creates your art, not just what you find and cut out. Next, consider creating your own color palette by cutting apart pages of magazines and saving the colored papers that you wish to work with. When you are ready to start attaching pieces of paper to your letter, you can use either Elmer's glue or Mod Posh. I think Elmer's glue works best for small pieces of paper or if you're gluing on pieces at different times. When using Mod Podge, you're going to get a little container filled with the Mod Podge adhesive. You're going to take a foam brush that looks like this, and you're just going to paint on a light coat wherever you plan on sticking your magazine pieces. Once the Mod Podge is slightly dry, you will be ready to paint on another layer of Mod Podge on top of your magazine pieces. This will seal everything together and hold the magazine pieces down permanently. If anything starts moving around, just wiggle it back into place carefully with your finger. Always apply the Mod Podge in thin layers and remember it will dry clear. Before I begin gluing anything down, I always take some time to play with the arrangement. I consider cutting pieces apart, moving around their placements, and generally try to get a sense of what the finished piece will look like before I use any glue. Just remember you can use your Ziploc bag to hold all of your pieces between classes so there's no rush to get things attached to your letter on any given day. No matter what you do for your surface design, just remember how you're being assessed. For surface quality, your entire letter sculpture has to be treated and embellished with colored papers, magazines, book pages, or other materials. Also, you need to do something to the sides of your letter. The only area that can be left plain is the back side of the letter. Next, remember the theme of this assignment is your identity. Your letter should clearly convey who you are and give the viewer a sense of your personality, interests, or lifestyle. Finally, craftsmanship or control of your materials is always important. The form of your letter should be precise with clean edges and angles and everything that you attach to your letter should be attached carefully and neatly. Make sure all papers are glued securely down and use an extra layer of Mod Podge on top of everything that you have collaged before finishing your project. And finally, hot glue guns will be available for you to use to glue on any found objects that you have brought in. Just know that the glue guns are for found objects only, not for gluing on any papers. Remember, your visual journal cover design is due on the same day as your sculptural letter, so you can work on both at the same time, taking breaks from one project to work on another, allowing layers to dry. When it is time to clean up, put your visual journal on the drying rack labeled with your class section. Just make sure that the wet side is up. Your sculptural letter should go on the same cart that you've been placing it on previously. And the foam brush that you used for Mod Podge needs to be put into the cup of water provided to you by your teacher. Wash your table well with a paper towel and water to get off all the glue and Mod Podge and throw away any newspapers that you worked on.